this morning, amen. And I'm glad this morning about Jesus. Amen. If we, amen, hear more about Jesus, amen, I believe more people could be saved this morning. But every, amen, ministry, amen, a lot of ministries, brothers, preaching different individuals, amen, pointing this card, card, me, guys. That card. person, amen. But the one we need to be pointing to is Jesus. Amen. Isn't that right? Praise the Lord, amen. If you're any kind of religion this morning, you're any kind of church, amen. The word of God Sorry should be in the door. forefront. In that rock. Amen. Praise the Lord. They done created whole denominations, amen, from what man say. Amen. People say, well, I'm the Baptist. Amen. Well, I want you to know that <coughs> Baptist was not John's last night. Amen. Amen. They done built a whole organization. Amen. Behind, he was a baptizer. Amen. But he told you his set is one that come after me. That's mightier than me. Pray God. That's who we look to today is Jesus. Amen. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. But salvation is in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever you do in word or be, do all in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ, give him thanks and honor to the Father. Amen. I appreciate, amen, what he done for me. Amen. And I know each one of us have a testimony and a story to tell. Amen. Praise Lord about our past and what the Lord done for us in our past. But what you going to do today? Today is the day that you hear his voice. Harder not your heart. <coughs> Amen. You need to do something about being saved today. And yeah. that right. I heard someone say tomorrow and I promise to. Yeah. Amen. Pray God. You know, hey, I made a choice, a conscious choice, hey, back in 1987 to give my life to the Lord. Amen. A lot of times, amen, things have to go bad for us, amen, when we make a decision when we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. Maybe your life hasn't got bad enough yet, but it can get there. Yeah. Amen. I want you to know, amen, the Lord, he, he prepared a fish for Jonah. Jonah was disobedient in that right. Amen. He can prepare a situation for you. Amen. And you know the Lord ultimately has to bring you to what? Repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. Not pointing the finger by what somebody else done. Amen. But repentance for your own sin. Amen. I don't know about you, but I, I had the can't help it. I couldn't help smoking. I couldn't help drinking. I couldn't help chasing women. God delivered. Amen. You got to can't hit that. I mean, you can't help. You can't stop yourself. Amen. Jesus Christ, He was the liberal. Amen. He can stop you. Amen. He can turn you in another direction if you give your life over to Him. Amen. I don't know if I get excited about Jesus. And some of you all, you get excited about a lot of different things. Amen. Black Friday excites some people. Yeah. Amen. Shopping time. Isn't that right? Yeah. Or the Cowboys. Amen. So whatever your team is. But you ought to get excited yeah. about being saved. Yeah. Having the opportunity yeah. to go back with Jesus. That all excites you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You don't want to amen. Woe to them that are uh, easy. Anxiety. Amen. I don't get comfortable with this now. Amen. He's someone who well, already got the Holy Ghost. I said, leaving the principles. If you already got the Holy Ghost, it's still something you need to be doing for God. Amen. Amen. Pray. Let us go on to what? Perfection. Pray God. Amen. Yes. And you might not have it, amen, like the Bible say, but you can get it this morning. Amen. You can be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. I admonish people, amen. When you come to church, come with a blank page. <coughs> and, right. When you went to class, amen, you was in school and you went to school, you didn't go to class with stuff I already wrote on your page. You can't learn nothing like that. Isn't that right? You come to church to learn how to be saved. 
You learn how to believe, and you heard the elder say, faith come by what? Yeah. Amen. You know, I had to catch, I had to catch on to that. Because we live in a society where we use our eyes too much. Mm -hmm. I believe it when I see it. Amen. I want people to show us something. Ain't that right? But if you catch on to faith, huh? the testimonies of all these old patriarchs in the Bible, amen. The Bible said there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. But the same God, he is rich, right? Just because, amen, he done it for Daniel, that don't mean he won't do it for you. We serve the same God, amen, of the Bible. I'm glad about it. There's nothing that's too hard for him, amen. If you would this morning, Amen. Get your Bible. I'd like you to turn with me to the book of Isaiah. And this is communion. Yes, sir. Sunday. If you have repented of your sins, went down in Jesus' name, where you get that from, Pastor Reed? But that's what the, when the apostles got ready to receive them. Amen. You live in a clean life. You can partake. Uh, the Bible says, let a man examine himself. Amen. I ain't got to tell you what you've been doing. You know what you've been doing. Amen. Now, if you want to stand up here and play with communion, that's on you. But it says, many are uh, weak and sickly. Don't do that. Don't do that. Among you. And some, what? Sleep. Communion is something you don't need to be playing with. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your word. Amen. This morning, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We thank you right now. Oh, God, give us an understanding of your word. Help us to preach your word. Break bread of life this morning. Without respect the person, to your name, the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Isaiah 45 and verse 22. When you get that, say amen. Isaiah 45 and 22. 45, 22. Thank you, Jesus. Look unto me. Look unto me. Hallelujah. Amen. What did it say? It don't say look, look unto on me. Us. Look no. unto them. Nope. It says look. Huh? This is very personal. And that's right. Say, look unto me. Oh, look. Amen. That's what you need to be looking to Stop. this morning is Jesus. Why did you do that? Say, look unto me and be what? Hallelujah. So it's a possibility for you to be saved. It's no, a possibility no, no. for you to know that you saved. Yeah. Amen. You can be walking yeah. down here on earth. Don't you don't have to be yeah. guessing about it. Wondering whether you've got it or not. Or you say, you can this know that you saved yeah. if you look under Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You can be saved this morning, pray God, by looking under him. Amen. But you got to stay focused. All right, a lot of times the devil come, he, he want to throw your focus off. Pray God. He want to have you looking at other things. Amen. Pray. Looking at other people. Amen. Looking at organizations. Amen. But the Bible says, look unto me and be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. For a lot of times, amen, we come up the wrong way. We were taught the wrong thing. Amen. Whatever Jesus didn't say, pray God, I don't want no part of it. Pray God. Sometimes you got to, amen, pull off some stuff. Amen. If you want to go back with Jesus, you got to listen to him. Well, praise the Lord. All the children of Israel wanted to be saved, wanted to be delivered, but none of them hardly wanted the doctrine. When Moses come off the mountain with the commandments and statutes of the Lord, they had a problem. Isn't that right? Amen. Moses came off the mountain and said, the Lord said, dress like this. See, a lot of people think that Moses just came off the mountain with ten commandments. Now, he had other stuff. Statutes and ordinances that eventually came into play. 
Amen. God want us to look holy. Don't do that. Uh, he don't want you to look like the world. No, don't, don't do that. He said, put a difference between that which is clean and unclean. Isn't that right? Because guess what? We put a difference in. We're going to eat in a minute. Isn't that right? You don't want no harm on this place. Stop. No. Huh? Hey, you don't want nothing caked up on it. Look like the dish wasn't washed good. Huh? You don't want nothing on your glass. Huh? Guess what? The Lord pick it like that too. Yes. Amen. You're going to have to come out of sin. He's not going to share you with the world. You're going to have to make a choice. Either you're going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil. But get what? I don't have enough for the devil. Amen. It's time for me to do something else. Amen. And guess what? It's time for you. Isn't that right? It's time for us to get serious about serving God. Now the Bible says, look unto me. We're going to tell you why you have to look. We're going to try to explain this to you. But a lot of people have this kind of mindset. I ain't done nothing. That, that's what's wrong with you right there. You ain't done nothing. And it's something you post. Hallelujah. <laughs> right. Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. Hey, but you're not innocent. No one is innocent. You didn't come in the world innocent. Hey, Amen. You were born into this. Hey, Amen. You were born into a sinful state, a sinful condition. Hey, Amen. Because of what the first Adam done. Uh huh. Amen. Because of what the first Adam does, we have to obey and listen to the second Adam if we want to escape. Amen. Because the first Adam failed. Isn't that right? He failed. He didn't obey God. Amen. Then he tried to blame it on his wife. Mm. Say this woman you gave me. Huh? Got a lot of men today trying to blame stuff. Oh, the oh, this woman you gave, she gave it to me. Praise the Lord. But guess what, amen. God called you Adam. And he's still calling for Adam today to stand up. Amen. Be recognized as a man in his church to lead your family in the right direction. Amen. Don't, don't lead your family in a way with Pat. You got parents today drinking with their children. Wow. That's a shame. Huh? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Drinking and smoking with your children. Huh? Are you teaching them the right thing? I don't think so. Hmm? Going different place. Going to the club with them. Going to the strip joint and all that with your children and pray. Hey Amen. You you know you, how you gonna show people the right way? Isn't that right? Children are looking at us, men and women. Young girls, they they looking at the older women. The older women need to be teaching them how to be chance keepers at home and how to love their husbands. Don't teach your daughter how to be a hoochie mama. Come on. Because if you dress like a hoochie mama, what she going to do? Well, praise the Lord. Do the same amen. Thing. Children, do right. amen, they mimic what they, they see. They mimic what they see. They do it right. And we have to pattern praise ourselves after it's Jesus. The Bible says, look unto me and be saved. All the ends of the earth. But I am God, and there is none. It ain't one God. You know, I don't want to help. Amen. You don't want to say that. We have to look unto Him. That I have sworn by myself. The word is gone out of my mouth. And what? Right here. Right here. Amen. Praise God. That's some things I love. It's truth and righteousness, uh, which a lot of people have thrown away. People not speaking the truth. 
We're supposed to speak the truth to one another, am I right? That's right. You're supposed to be living a righteous life. Knowing what's right. Practicing righteousness and truth. Amen. Look unto Jesus this morning, you can be saved. Amen. They say, righteousness, and it shall not return. That unto me, some need. You're going to recognize eventually. Mm -hmm. huh? You might not be going to get down now, but you're going to get down there. Huh? Every man. Everybody eventually going to get down. Oh, that you might not even pass the tell of some of the people get down and pray. I ain't getting down. To, you eventually going to get down there. But you say every knee. If, why not just go on and do what you say? Why, why God got to beat you into submission? Pray God. Why don't you just go on and surrender to God? Let him have his way with you today. Look unto him and be saved. Yes. He telling you, amen, that unto me, I like that word, me, unto me, he going to be the only one standing. <laughs> Ain't nobody else going to be standing but Jesus. Can you picture that? Everybody else going to be on their knees. Jesus, he going to be standing. He ain't going to be fired with you. He going to be standing, receiving his praise, receiving his glory. Hallelujah. Say every knee going to bow unto me. Thank you, Jesus. And every tongue shall swear. And why do we have to look unto Jesus today is because what had happened in the past, amen, with Adam, what we were born into, amen, pray. And the Bible tells us that. Romans, the fifth chapter. We ain't going to hold you long, praise the Lord, because of community. Amen. Now all of us know the story testimony of Adam and Eve and that had an effect over on us. Huh? Ever since Adam and Eve fell short, amen, a way was going to have to be made for us to get back to right standing and fellowship with God. I'm going to write about this. Amen. I, I believe in a testimony of Adam and Eve. Amen. Praise the Lord. I believe, amen, that God wants us to be saved. I believe that Jesus is coming back. Why? Because I believe the Bible. Amen. Romans, amen, 5 and 17. When you get that saved, man. Amen. But if by one man's offense. You see that? No. One man caused all this. And we know what his name was, huh? Name was Adam. But if by one man's offense, death reigned by one, and Adam brought death on all of us. One man. Much more, they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one. Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon some people. Oh. <laughs> Amen. By then, all your kids can get an understanding. Yes. Huh? That's why you need to repent. Because what Adam did, because what Adam did, the first act, judgment and death came upon who? Everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Judgment came upon all men to what? Condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness 
of one. Not two. Not three. I want to say, look unto me and be saved. God is this one righteous person. His name is Jesus. Amen. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Guess what? We have to free Jesus. But as by one man's disobedience, many were made what? Sinners. Until Adam fell, he wouldn't even know sin. Sin came into the world through the disobedience of the first Adam. I'm speaking a minute. I'm sure some of you all, amen, praise the Lord about the garden. Clothes didn't come from God. And we sure wrapped up in them. Did you know clothes didn't come from God? Adam and Eve were naked. When they sinned, then clothes came into being. Huh? And Lord said, who told you you would make it? They were hiding. Lord walked in the cool of the garden and he asked her, why would she hide? He said, because I was naked. Lord said, who told you? <laughs> the devil told her who was. Stuff started coming in your conscience and stuff through sin. Originally, man was in a sinless state. He was not sinful. Through disobedience, sin came into the world and is running rapid now. Yes. A lot of them evil thoughts we have and our mm. tongue, they come from the devil. Mm. Looking at stuff, the lustfulness, pride of life and all that, that's not from God, it's from the devil. And because Adam fell short, that's why it is a necessity for you to amen accept the second Adam who is Jesus Christ who made a way of salvation for us. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one look unto me and be saved. We can't do nothing but preach Jesus. Sometime in churches I, I marvel when I go in to different organizations and start preaching Jesus. People get mad. If you're trying to be saved and I'm preaching Jesus, why would you get mad? Unless something else is in your heart. Some other person or some other, you want me to lift some person up or some organization, but this say pray by the obedience <coughs> of one. Amen. Shall many be made righteous. Yeah. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. God showed us his Ten Commandment law and how we were prior to the fall of Adam, let us know just how far we had gotten from God. Isn't that right? We preached not too long ago in Leviticus about a man not sleeping with your relatives. Sick. Yeah. Wow. One foot five. Incest. Even know that. Incest. Incest. Sleeping with your auntie. That's sick. Amen. Sleeping with your sister. Father sleeping with Lord, your daughters. Don't Cousins. you know if it wasn't for the word of God, men wouldn't know The moral yes, standards yeah. come out of the Bible. Yeah. And they need to be taught. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. And morality and God teaches, teaches his people how to act. Yes. Moreover, the law enters 
that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin have reigned unto death, evil souls might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ. I love it. I, I'm glad, amen. I repented of my sins. Amen. And we said by one man. And you need to know his name. The name is Jesus. Amen. You have to go down in Jesus' name for the remission of your sin. You have to wait for the promise of the Holy Ghost. He said, I'm going to send the comforter back in my name. Pray. You got to keep looking to Jesus. Long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he could walk the walk. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray. Lord, if he said, Lord, if it's you, uh -uh, bid me to suffer me to come out there. He said, come on, Peter. He started walking the walk. Long as he kept his eyes. You know, I go fishing a lot. I look at that water. I say, you know what? That's that's even impossible yeah. to walk on some water. Mm. But the Bible says Peter did. Yes, see. Because the Lord was doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. You follow the Lord, praise God. He said, greater works than me shall you do. Because I go to my father. You're gonna do greater works. Yep. You got to believe God. Mm. You got to believe Jesus. Mm. Look unto Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. All I know is Jesus. Amen. That's all I got to tell you. Pray God. He's the healer. Amen. He's the deliverer. Yes, he is. Pray God. Whatever you have is in it. Yeah. Generation in the name of Jesus. You got to catch on to that. eternal life and that is by G. look unto me and be saved amen I'll ask you if you want to go to the baby book of Isaiah amen Isaiah 55th chapter I think we'll probably go to Two, two verses there. You're tired. Let's go to sleep. 55 and 6. Amen. You got to honestly do this. Okay, I'm going to go. Amen. <laughs> and it's best to, I would advise you, don't wait till you get in trouble. Before you start see, don't don't wait till somebody die. God have mercy. Or some tragedy kind of happen in your life. Sleep, that's why you probably it, it's best to try to start seeking it now. Oh, yeah. He wants you to seek it. Try to kind of I, excuse me. I'm you know, I, I, I got sick. to that point, amen, pray. I'm tired of praying. Lord, if you realize, I need you to save me. Yes. I, I got tired of guessing. Yep. Amen. And, and so you, you got to start earnestly seeking for God. How do you do that? Amen. You get out on your knees. You start calling on his name. You develop, amen, a line of communication with him. You start praying. Amen. Add a little fasting to that. Amen. Yeah. You start, amen, studying his word. Hallelujah. Pray God. You start asking God if this your will for me. Cornelius was a good man. Huh? So he prayed and gave alms to who? God. So he was a devout person. He, he was sincere. He was loyal. See, you, we got some good quality. I got two of you. He went to church. He gave to the church. And he prayed. Stop. Seeking God. I you know. know what? God sent him an angel. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus.
Say, God, so send an angel to him. To I know you sleep. Say, Cornelius, your you prayer have been heard. That's right. Went up as a memorial under God. That's right. Say, send the job. Let's go to sleep. For one, Simon Pink told him where he was. That's right. And you pray and ask God, he'll tell you where to go get saved. Hallelujah! He'll tell you who to listen to. He tell you who right pray God. He tell you where to go, what church to go to. Pray God, hey, what you need to do. Pray God. He say send the job up. Say he gonna tell you all of your how what you must do to be saved. Huh. And he got that revelation through praying and seeking God. Huh? And you pray and seek God. If you are honest now. God will show you who you yes. are. Uh -huh. Why? Because he loves you. Yes. Uh -huh. huh? Don't you know God loves you? Yes. God don't want you to go to hell, man. Right. You might think he do. God know. He say he know his intention that he have towards you. Yes. Huh? Attention of peace and good and not of evil. Yeah. To bring you to an expected end. Yeah. God don't want you to go to hell. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hell was not made for mankind. It was made for the devil. But it has enlarged itself. God wants us to take heed to this opportunity. He said, look unto me and be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah. I believe it's 55. And six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Seek who? Oh. Not no organization. Jesus. Not no other man. Bob ain't told you to fall after no man. Got some men, got folks around here, they fall behind the tree and read this Bible and stuff. Toting a jacket and coat and everything. God ain't told you to fall behind no man like that. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Opening the door for him, pulling the chair out of his man there. Lighting up his face when he sweats. Just like he's a special trophy. Amen. The Bible says, seek me. The Lord. Amen. Hey, well, I carry my own this... Bible. I need you. I carry my Bible. When I start preaching, you, I know you're going to get upset anyway. Yes. <laughs> hey, man, you're going to just give me favor for a little while. I start preaching about you, man. You, sick of that pastor. I already know what cup. Seek the Lord. While he may be found, call ye upon him. I'm following him. Jesus, man. Come on. I'm following him. Have you done this? Jesus, just as much as you do. Have you sought the Lord? Have you called upon him? Amen. Have you honestly done that? Pray that you call upon him when he is near. Amen. And you know God, amen, praise the Lord. He wants us to be saved. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let what? Jesus. Say his way. Amen. But there is a way to see life. <clears throat> God wants us, amen, to look unto him and follow him. Ain't that right? right? Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thought. Because you know sin started up here. Yep. You got to see. It starts up here. Hey, that's how they know how to get men. You know, men usually like they, they get men to see you by one thing, a woman. Men throw their life away for a good looking woman. Mm, how low can you go? Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Sam Samson got his hair cut off. 
and his eyes put out over a woman. Mm, mm, mm. That is the story. That is the legendary story. God made God. God he made the Nazarite. He, he a, had a promise with God. Yes, he had a woman. He wasn't woman told to share. And she kept saying, "Son, what is your strength like?" And just now, flirting with him, massaging him, Samson wasn't no strong seducing looking man. him. Mm -hmm. Why she keep asking him, Samson? Exactly. He was an ordinary man and doing all that stuff. They couldn't bind him or nothing. He finally, he finally succumbed and gave in to We all just want to What she do? We got his hair cut off. All of evil got his eye put out. Mm -hmm. We are the restrainer of the devil's works. Well, you yes. know what God told you. That is now the time. And you know, it's like me. Got issues and weakness behind women. The Bible tells you what the women like. Hmm? You got tempted with that fruit in there. You'll be in God. Don't do that for me. Two will be promotion and power to the that guy Jesus was talking. Hallelujah. Step your so you now. be as God. Look at this fruit. Look how 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 and a man will throw all that away for a woman. <laughs> and the devil knows that. And that's why, that's why we got to look under Jesus. If you want to be saved. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him what? Come on back to the Lord. We done done all this wickedness, and yet don't don't stop following Him. God woke us up, and Lord let us wake up this morning. You still have an opportunity today to be saved. He loved you just that much. Pray God, you still got a chance to be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Let Him. Return unto the Lord, and he will have what? Mercy. Ooh, I'm glad he ain't like man. There was man, he ain't. Oh, no, I ain't gonna help you no more. Huh? Do it yourself. I'm sick of you, pray God. Man, they, man, they'll cut you off. Yes. Yeah. God huh? never cuts you off. You keep on man with that, man. They won't help you. Nope. Amen. They they won't assist you. They won't loan you no more money. They'll cut you out. But, but Jesus, he's full of mercy. Say so he will abundantly pardon you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God, amen, for you all this morning. We want to leave with you. Look. He said, look under me. Thank you, Jesus. And be saved. You can be saved this morning. If you surrender, let the Lord have his way with you today. Amen. We thank God for you. We want to extend the altar. Might be someone here today that needs prayer. If you want you to come this morning, let us pray for you. Okay, yeah, this is also first Sunday. Can we get a show of hands of how many want to participate in the communion this morning? Can we get a show of hands?
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Closer to Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's awesome. Yes, Jesus. Oh, yes.